Facebook lovers, I am Elena Khodakivska. This is Cat Josette, the right tourist cat. Welcome to our channel. As Facebook lovers, October is almost over and Cat Josette and I are welcoming you to take a glance at how our uh, bookish and non-bookish October felt and looked uh, for us. Uh, October was uh, good. Uh, it was nice, it was kind, it was generous for a small, uh, pleasant surprises. Uh, I read uh, a lot, or I was lucky to uh, read a, a, a lot this month. I wrote a lot and I was so happy because uh, my uh, writing uh, process accelerated a bit and I'm truly happy about that. Uh, so, our October, this uh, magical uh, month, looked like this. Uh, so, book lovers, uh, hello once again. I have just finished uh, filming my September vlog. Uh, finally, I made it. Um, uh, today is, I guess, 18th? Yeah, probably it's 18th of October. And uh, a couple of days ago, I finished reading mm, this gem. This gem, just take a look how adorable the book cover is, how cozy, how glorious, how glimmery. This spell show by Sarah Beth Durst. Well, uh, I'm sure I have heard a lot about this book. Uh, it's a brilliant, touching, sweet, uh, hallmark style uh, romantic comedy. Our, um, I will read you a blurb because it's uh, it's too sweet not to read it. Uh, Kela, uh, it's pretty long, pretty long because uh, that's why I will read you some passages. Uh, Kela has always troubled uh, dealing with people. Thankfully, as a librarian of the great library of Alisium, she and her assistant Cass, a magically sentient spider pan, had spent the last decade sequestered among the Empire's most uh, precious uh, spellbooks, preserving their magic for the uh, city's eye. When the revolution begins there and the library goes up in flames, she and Cass flee with all the spell books they can carry and head to remote island Kella never thought uh, she would see again, her childhood home. Uh, so, uh, so, young lady Kella uh, and her faithful uh, assistant uh, spider plant uh, Cass uh, is coming back home to the island that is uh, our uh, Kela's home, uh, and here all the adventures uh, start. Uh, it, it was great, it was sweet, it was cozy, it, it was full of magic, it was uh, full of clean, fragile, tender, sweet romance. I love such books. I wish uh, I read it when I was 15 or 14, mm, I bet I would have loved this book and uh, I would definitely recommend it to my future self for, uh, if I had uh, read it uh, when I was uh, uh, 14 or 15. Uh, the writing style is uh, is balancing. Uh, I can't say it's uh, fast, I can't say it's slow, uh, it's well balanced. Uh, and I truly enjoy it for uh, this pace. I just like feel like reading and reading and reading like like rivers flowing. That's uh, that uh, that's like this uh, book felt for me. Um, the characters, the characters are adorable. They are not just solid. They are penetrated with their uh, the spirit of uh, magic of uh, uh, high quality fantasy uh, with kindness, with the romantic, uh, sweet romantic, young romantic uh, vibes, uh, with the acute uh, 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 remarks about books. Uh, this, uh, also, this book is about books, uh, it's about book lovers, it's, it's about book habits, it's about librarian, it's about attitude uh, toward books. So, uh, 
here we, ha uh, we have uh, so many uh, beautiful uh, animal uh, com uh, companies uh, such as winged cats uh, and uh, cloudy bears. Of course, uh, Kiela's uh, faithful assistant, uh, funny, <laughs> a really hilarious uh, character, uh, and cute and adorable, uh, um, her assistant, uh, spider plant Cass. Uh, well, the quotes, uh, I have some, uh, but the edges are, uh, I love the color, they are, it's a color of raspberry jam. Uh, by the way, I, I don't know uh, whether I had showed it to you. I do like how the chapters are illustrated as well. Uh, so, yeah, this book is about books, about sweet, tender love, first love. It's about book, about uh, book, about books, about librarian, about her uh, um, adorable fan uh, fantasy characters as Winch, Cat, uh, Winch Cats and Teddy Bears are my favorites. Uh, Cass, uh, the plant. Well, uh, you're just like uh, getting into a tub of uh, magic, or uh, warm, uh, warm, cozy magic that envelops you from uh, from uh, tip to toes. So the characters, the character. Oh, I'm sorry. I quotes. I am still thinking about the characters. So uh, that means that the characters are adorable, and I still uh, I finished reading uh, this book two days ago. But still, I am living with them. It means a lot. So uh, well, one of my favorite ones. Uh, I've sent this quote uh, to my BFF because she uh, she started so. Um, uh, her uh, singing lessons and uh, um, um, I was reading just like this page when she was uh, uh, attending her uh, singing class. So, uh, one of my favorite poets uh, is the following. He likes to complain, uh, Ulina said. Some people are like that. Uh, they derive joy from sapping other people's joy. The trick is not to let them. Just keep playing your own song. So, uh, I give this book 5.5 uh, stars because it's perfect. It's perfect in all the aspects. Uh, the plot is cute, the writing style is cute, uh, everything is cute. The character is cute, magical, uh, penetrated with their sweet love, uh, kindness, uh, support, uh, inspiration. Uh, mm, well, brilliant and uh, amazing sarcastic light humor from this uh, from Killer's assistant uh, Cass. So uh, I would highlight. By, by the way, to, uh, try to uh, take a look how how it gorgeous these ones. Uh, I do hope it's it's noticeable for you. Uh, um, I'm working uh, on filming more uh, better. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend this book for all those who enjoy reading uh, fantasy books uh, about spells, uh, about uh, spell shop, about books, about uh, uh, magical creatures, uh, cats in particular, uh, about uh, a love that is uh, just like in blossom, I would say in this or uh, in this way that uh, the uh, first love that uh, is starts blooming, and then uh, you see it in a full blossom. That's adorable how you see this uh, process of uh, uh, of growing up, uh, of feeling that is growing up steadily and gradually. It's amazing. Well. Uh, the Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst uh, is uh, the one that I finished reading uh, in October. And uh, now I am getting to another one. You have probably already noticed it. So, this one. Uh, if you follow me uh, here on YouTube channel, booktube channel, or, or Instagram and uh, WordPress, you know that I'm a huge fan of uh, Hannah Goat. Uh, and her glorious, uh, I don't know, like, like this one, uh, glorious books. 
I have read all her books, so I will I probably film a separate video of this book, uh, and I will talk once again about her first ones uh, that, that I just uh, fall in love uh, with every single book, and I am falling in love with every single uh, uh, book uh, while, uh, while I'm reading it to my uh, kids. Uh, so, uh, Hannah Goat and uh, Turtle Moon. Uh, if not distractions, once again, I would definitely read it in one sitting, and I would mm, I would read the whole night. But I have my sweet uh, toddler Christina, and she's early riser. She's early bird. That's why uh, I have no chance to read it at night. But still, just take a look uh, how adorable the book cover is. I mean, mm, I mean this way. I mean this way, how gorgeous it is. Just take a look. Oh. Uh, and here we go. Here we go. Right here. I don't know where it's... Yeah, it's visible. Oh, I'm sorry. And um, I do love... I am on uh, 100 page. And take a look. I would show you. Um, each chapter is illustrated at the beginning with some cute... Uh, Animals. Here we go. And uh, uh, I mean illustrations. Uh, illustr illustrator uh, Levy Pinfold. I wish uh, Levy Pinfold illustrated one of my books. I wish uh, because uh, illustrations are just fantastic, gorgeous. Um, let me show you. Mm, okay, not, not this one, probably. Oh. Uh, right, right, right. Just, just, just a second. Uh, I read it yesterday, and I uh, just couldn't tear my eyes uh, from this, uh, from this illustration. I just. Uh, uh, okay, let it be another one. I can okay, let it be this one. Oh, that's just fantastic. Just a look, turtle. Uh, I adore uh, illustrations. Here is one of my favorite uh, bookmarks with a cat. cat. Almost Cat Joseph. That's why I love this bookmark and books, of course. So, uh, here we follow uh, the girl. Our, her name is Silver. Uh, she's 11, I guess 11 years old. Um, her parents, uh, he, uh, her father is a uh, children's writer and illustrator, and he is invited to Costa Rica uh, to illustrate. Uh, so, uh, Silver and her mother are going with, uh, uh, with him, and here all the adventures start. Uh, I am in their Probably not me though, but uh, it's uh, the writing style is so uh, it's so pleasurably written. It's so I can't say it's fast. Uh, it's uh, just like you read, 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 and you don't want to stop reading. Uh, the characters, mm, my heart just like starts mounting from the first pages. Uh, the uh, I uh, have already f uh, found my one of my f uh, favorite quotes, uh, but I don't have stickers, I don't have any tabs. Uh, that's why I would fix it, and I will share. Oh, I will finish reading this book. I will definitely re uh, write a review, and I will share all oh, the full emotional uh, picture concerning this book with you. So uh, I'm. Uh, let it be in the middle of this book. Uh, I do hope your October is in blossom. I do hope you're enjoying these uh, October uh, wipes, uh, Halloween wipes, sir, uh, and so on and so forth. So.
Hello, the Cleverous. Uh, today is uh, the 23rd of October, and yesterday I finished reading absolutely glorious book. Um, it's uh, uh, one of the gems by a beautiful, incredibly talented Hannah Goat. As soon as I opened the first line, the first page or of her first book, or the last bear, I fell in love with her books and uh, Hannah Goat became my autobiography writer, uh, one of my favorite writers ever. So when I found out the, that the Turtle Moon uh, is about to be released, uh, I pre-ordered it and I just couldn't wait to read it. So finally I uh, got my copy, I read it uh, almost in one breath because sort of Still, I have some distractions of adult life, but so the book, uh, this one, The Turtle Moon, just take a look how beautiful, how fascinating and glorious the book cover is. Uh, I'm lucky to have a book cover, a hardback of uh, this one. Just take a look. I mean, that's, that's incredibly great. That's just fascinating. That's so miraculous. Uh, as well as all the book inside. I will definitely uh, uh, film a separate video for this amazing book. Um, I gave it, you have already probably guessed that uh, I gave it, oh, my fluffy assistant is coming to me. I gave for my highest humble rating 5.5 uh, out of 5 stars because this book uh, is incredible, as all the books by Hannah Gold, by this one is a uh, very personal book. Uh, most interesting thing that while I was reading it, uh, I was like reading through the lines so that this book is very personal and when I got to acknowledgements, uh, I've got the proofs that this book is very personal. So, uh, the plot is captivating. Uh, uh, we follow Silver, uh, a young girl who, together, uh, together with her mom and dad, uh, is going to uh, have a, uh, one of the most extraordinary trips uh, she has ever had to Costa Rica, uh, where she uh, uh, she's going to dive uh, into incredible adventures uh, with their exotic animals or uh, turtles in particular. Uh, the writing style is perfect. Uh, it's for me, at least uh, for me, uh, it felt uh, like this. Sorry, uh, it's uh, well uh, fast paced. It's dynamic. It's uh, full of for uh, cute, uh, hard squeezing and uh, hard warming, I would say, twists and turns. Uh, it's uh, very illuminative for, because there are so many cute facts that Hannah Goat managed to describe in such a cute way that these facts uh, will just like uh, leave a huge trace or, uh, in, uh, it seems to me in every bookish or heart and uh, for young minds or uh, the writing style, the way how Hannah Goat managed to present all these facts, all these interest, uh, cute uh, episodes or about animals, about how to protect or, um, uh, turtles and other animals are incredible. Uh, so, the writing style is perfect. Everything is per uh, perfect uh, in this book for me. Uh, the plot, one more book, one more great plot. Or the writing style is perfect. The characters, uh, all of them, so well thought, so solid, so uh, emotional. Uh, they are uh, like a well of emotions, uh, wisdom, lessons, or uh, background history. Adorable, uh, just adorable characters, and uh, I'm still living with all of them. That's why. Uh, I haven't started any other book because I'm still living with our silver, our her new friends, her parents, and their animals. Our uh, my favorite food. Uh, there are a lot of them uh, right there. So one of them uh, that uh, just impressed uh, me. Um, uh, dropped a huge anchor into my bookish heart is. Uh, this one right here. Um, life is creation. 
you hear that sparky love is creation and creation comes in many forms so uh, when you i hope that uh, you are interested and that you will read this book and when you will read this book uh, you will understand uh, what I'm talking about. This book is uh, um, is incredibly wise, are uh, incredibly touching, incredibly deep, are uh, just perfect. One more perfect book, great book by Hannah Goat. So. Uh, I don't know whether uh, whether I'm going to read another book uh, to the end of October because I'm still living with the Turtle Moon and all other characters. Uh, and I would highly recommend this book to all those who enjoy reading books about uh, perilous adventures in uh, rainforests. Are uh, all those who uh, enjoy uh, finding out and uh, discovering new facts, uh, all those who enjoy reading books about our animals, about friendship of humans and animals, uh, all those who are um, well, I will uh, leave this or uh, this my musings for the uh, next video, are uh, because for me uh, this book is uh, a pure. To be very special, and I would definitely reread uh, this book in uh, in uh, in some time, uh, as well as other uh, books by Hannah Goat, or uh, the uh, Last uh, Bear, Finding the Bear, the sequel, and uh, the Lost Whale. Uh, if you still uh, haven't uh, read her her books, uh, I highly recommend it uh, to do it because her books, uh, all the every single book by Hannah Goat, is incredible gem. Uh, it's a treasure that worth reading, and uh, uh, I'm sure that all her books are uh, will, lean, will live a long life. Or uh, it will um, get into the hands of many future generations. Or uh, and uh, I bet that many future kids or uh, the uh, the relative cute are. Uh, quotes about uh, kids over, uh, in this book and uh, all the moms, I bet uh, all moms uh, will enjoy uh, reading them and will read uh, and like write out uh, the quotes about kids for uh, for themselves. So, uh, it's 23rd of October uh, and uh, on this stage uh, I am still living with a turtle moon and all other incredible characters. Lovers, uh, today is the 30th of October and um, a couple of days ago I finished reading one book and today I finished reading another one. So the first one that I finished reading a couple of year, uh, years, <laughs> a couple of days ago uh, was uh, this one, uh, The Trouble with the Friends by Kelly Miller. It's uh, absolutely fabulous 
a variation of uh, Pride and Prejudice, or I will review the blurb. Uh, Darcy and his good friend Simon Lockhart are guests of Charles Bingley at Netherfield Park at uh, Hertfordshire, where the otherwise sensible Lockhart becomes infatuated with a Miss uh, Elizabeth Bennet, who has neither wealth nor a renowned family name. Darcy attempts, uh, here is my fluffy assistant is coming to me, Darcy attempts to make his friend uh, see reason, but there is a complication. Darcy's growing attraction for Elizabeth, Miss Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth has an instant liking for the amiable Mr. Lockhart, whilst she deems the arrogant Miss Darcy to be an undesirable entity. Uh, in time, though, she is uh, coaxed into judging Mr. Darcy and you, but when an unexpected predicament forces her to make an undesirable choice, it seems all hope of a happy outcome is lost. So, in this variation, in this Pride and Prejudice variation, Darcy faces a dilemma. Will he heed the earnings of his heart even at the expense of his principles? So, I truly love this book uh, from cover to cover. Kelly Miller managed to uh, preserve this coquettish, uh, this uh, elegant uh, writing style. Uh, there are uh, several smooth uh, twists and turns. Um, I truly enjoyed reading dialects, or uh, especially concerning uh, uh, books. Or uh, here is my cat Joseph, his puppy tail. <laughs> uh, the book is uh, incredibly good. This variation. Uh, uh, grabbed my attention uh, from the first lines. Our, um, yeah, I was curious uh, to read her, uh, this variation. It's my first uh, uh, book by this uh, writer and I truly enjoyed it. Um, I have uh, one favorite quote, uh, um, uh, but my toddler, my Christina, uh, removed my tabs. Um, um, oh, here on the page 28. Uh, one of my favorite quotes uh, was, no family is perfect. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, the uh, author managed uh, to, re uh, to preserve uh, the perfect writer, a uh, perfect and elegant writing style, uh, uh, the plot, the characters, uh, uh, I would even say that the, uh, the author uh, managed to uh, uh, saturate uh, the main characters uh, to uh, make them more uh, profound, more deeper, more uh, multi-layered. Uh, well, I truly uh, love this, uh, the trouble with friends. Just take a look how glorious the book cover is by Kelly Miller. I would definitely read uh, the other books by this uh, author. And uh, surely I are <laughs> my father's assistant. Uh, he doesn't know what to do. Uh, um, so I would definitely read the uh, other books by this incredibly uh, talented uh, writer, Kelly Mira Miller. Uh, I, as you probably guessed, I gave 5.5 .5 for a source to this uh, fascinating variation of Pride and Prejudice. And the next book that I finished reading today on the 30th of October is, oh, this one, this one, uh, just take a look how cozy the book cover is. Uh, well, uh, there is a, a cute story concerning uh, this book. I started reading this book, uh, I guess, uh, in September, early in September, yes. Um, uh, it doesn't mean that the book is uh, bad, not. On the contrary, the book is awesome. Uh, it's uh, all about uh, designing happiness uh, all around your, uh, you, all around your beloved ones. It's uh, um, uh, about designing and creating coziness, especially our uh, winter in autumn. Or it's a perfect book uh, for. Uh, such seasons so uh, when it's raining or it's snowing outside uh, so uh, I support this book I uh, swallowed this book uh, gradually because because it's cozy yeah I, uh, I read the whole book in a cozy manner uh, so my there is uh, uh, 
And there are so many variations of pronouncing hygge, hygge, <laughs> my hygge home, uh, how to make home your happy place uh, by uh, Make Viking. Uh, it's my second book by this writer uh, and I truly loved it. Uh, I enjoyed writing style, uh, one of the most uh, cute and uh, memorable and uh, delicious, uh, I would say, uh, aspects in writing style that author are um, introduced and uh, includes and puts uh, these uh, cute personal moments uh, in this or that chapter and it's so cute it's like a, a small fairy tale or in uh, 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 there are small fairy tales scattered uh, uh, along the book uh, fairy tales from his life because uh, he managed to tell uh, this experience in a fairy tale style uh, I truly love this book from cover to cover. I uh, have some. Um, my uh, my toddler Christina uh, enjoys to take them away. <laughs> so why oh, with the, I, I enjoy the illustrations, the pictures. Um, one of the uh, quotes are that I. Um, I truly loved in this book is there are the following. Um, basically, follow your cat. If there is a strip of light, there is where you see it purring optional. Uh, so cute, I'm a cat lover, so uh, I'm a cat lover, I'm a tea drinker, and there are so many facts about our tea, about cats, about our animals uh, in your surroundings, in your, uh, in your home. Uh, there are so many cute facts, historical facts, or um, um, yeah, there are so many uh, cute or, uh, information about uh, uh, Danish uh, lifestyle. Actually, the uh, Hygge is a Danish uh, uh, lifestyle. So, the book is incredible. Uh, it's cozy. It's sweet. It's uh, it's like a warm blanket. Uh, but um, you still uh, can read it in summer or spring because, like, it's. Uh, um, it has some unique feature that when you read uh, everything concerning Hugo uh, in summer, you will enjoy reading it because it has uh, these uh, like spots uh, for summer lovers. Uh, if you read it uh, in autumn, winter, or spring, you will also enjoy reading it because uh, yeah, every um, Every, uh, every chapter, um, every um, theme uh, includes uh, um, so many variations and so many choices uh, for all seasonal uh, lovers. So, my Hugo uh, Home by Make Viking, I guess. I do hope I pronounce it right. Uh, so I gave it four out of five stars. Uh, I truly loved this book. It's incredible. It's cozy. It's sweet. It's lovely. Uh, all about coziness. All about uh, creating. Uh, oh, uh, he's uh, he started singing. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> he interrupted me. <laughs> uh, so. It's uh, all about uh, creating happiness, coziness, memories, uh, touching moments, uh, sharing these moments. So the book is incredible. I uh, highly recommend to all those who enjoy, uh, who want to uh, like to know uh, more about uh, Danish chair lifestyle, about coziness, about how uh, to create or uh, to design happiness memories. Uh, and there are uh, some thrilling moments uh, in a cute way. Uh, my Hugo uh, home is for you. Uh, so uh, I won't start uh, any other book. Uh, I'm sure that I won't be able to read it in one day. That's why that's all for our October.
Uh, so, in October, I finished reading four books. I don't know how, but still, I was lucky to finish reading four books. The first one that I finished reading, and I would uh, definitely film a separate video, probably it would be a Sunday book review, because this book impressed me, uh, grabbed my attention, uh, and um, I found out that there will be a prequel to this book, and I'm going to further it, because this book is just... yay! So, I am talking about this gem, uh, this spell shop by Sarah Beth Durst. I would like you to get a hardback. Uh, just take a look how incredible uh, the. Ah, uh, oh, it's not so good. Okay. Uh, these spread ages, sir. Uh, Raspberry jam, uh, the color of raspberry jam, and I do like uh, how the chapters uh oh, let me show you these chapters uh every chapter is illustrated right uh so i would definitely have film a separate video for this and uh, uh i would add the link in the description below it was the first book that i read in october truly loved it uh, incredible great highly recommended for all fantasy lovers and all those who enjoy reading hallmark uh, uh, book uh, uh, style. So this spell shop. Mm, incredible. So the next book that I uh, uh, finished reading in uh, October was a um, legendary uh, book, uh, one of the legendary uh, books, at least for me, because this writer is so special, at least for me. Uh, a couple of uh, years, <laughs> a couple of years ago, this uh, this author became uh, my autobi writer, uh, one of my favorite writers ever. So I'm talking about this one, The Turtle Moon by Hannah Gold. I was also lucky to get a hardback, and uh, I mean, I mean, this this is a gem. This is a gem uh, among book covers. Here we go, like this one incredible uh well uh i had already filmed a separate video concerning this book uh, in one of my sunday book reviews and i will also um, leave the link in the description below if you're interested in uh, the book that uh, includes uh, adventures, uh, virtual travel around different uh, cute exotic spots around the world, a uh, fragile friendship that uh, could definitely grow into something bigger, something more mature, uh, about uh, love, you know, the aspects, uh, clean love, sweet love, or a tender love. Um, about exotic animals, about friendship uh, of humans and animals, about uh, uh, rescuing and endangered animals and so on and so forth. Uh, so this book is much deeper uh, as it might seem at first uh, sight and uh, uh, so if you are interested uh, in reading this uh, gem, uh, you can uh, you can watch the video uh, in the description below uh, Sunday book review. Um, I gave it my highest humble rating, uh, five point five out of five stars. Uh, why? You can uh, uh, watch the Sunday book review and uh, you understand uh, why. This book uh, appeared to be uh, so uh, personal. So many birds outside. Um, personal not only for uh i i i guess so that for many uh women around the world or uh, for me and the uh, the writer as well so the turtle moon uh by hannah gold illustrations incredible fantastic illustrations by levy pinfold i do hope i pronounce it right and i wish uh, levy pinfold illustrated my books i would be so happy so, uh, the next book uh, that I finished reading uh, this month uh, is The Trouble with Friends, such a glorious book cover uh, by Kelly Miller. Uh, it's an uh, amazing uh, version of uh, Pride and Prejudice. I truly love this book uh, from cover to cover. Uh, so, if you love for uh, this uh, classic, uh, uh, I'm sure you will. Uh, it will be curious for you to read this variation because it's uh, it's cute. Uh, Kelly Miller uh, managed to uh, to add her own charm uh, into 
uh, the inspiration era, uh, the variation of Pride and Prejudice era, uh, so the Trouble with Friends by uh, Gloria S. Kelly Miller, highly recommend uh, for all those who enjoy reading classics. So this one was the third one in my list. And the last one uh, uh, that I finished, finally finished reading, uh, it's uh, my Uge, Uge Home uh, by um, Mike uh, Waking. Uh, how to uh, make home your happy place. Uh, I, re I started it, uh, reading it in September and uh, I finished reading it in October, but I repeat once again that the book is awesome. It doesn't mean the book is bad or something else. No, the book is incredible. It's uh, all about happiness. Uh, it's all about creating, I would say, in this way, about uh, creating and designing happiness, coziness, uh, creating our moments to live for in the moment or to to not just like uh, uh, boiling in this uh, hostel and bustle of everyday life, but like to, to just stop and drink the tea or just like uh, stop and smell the roses and just stop and uh, uh, throw you uh, through your gaze or uh, beautiful uh, sky over the cloudy bears uh, are uh, living. So, uh, my Huge, I do hope I pronounce it right. There are so many variations of pronouncing it. Uh, in the previous book that I read by uh, Mike uh, Waking, uh, the first chapter includes uh, this particular section where uh, it says that uh, there are so many variations of pronunciation of Huge. That's why don't judge me too harshly if I pronounce it not correctly. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend this uh, for all those who uh, like uh, want to create or uh, design a cuteness or uh, coziness or uh, uh, in in in, the, in your spot, uh, so I gave it four out of five stars. It's incredibly good. Uh, highly recommend for all those who enjoy um, um, living a Danish lifestyle and uh, for all those who want to know more about this one. So this one. So uh, I also. Um, accelerated a bit in my uh, writing uh, you know, writing path, in my uh, writing process or of my next novel. I do hope that uh, pretty soon I will be able to share it with you. So uh, that's, uh, that's uh, how our October, bookish October uh, writing and uh, uh, reading look like. Uh, so book lovers are all those books that you can uh, observe, you can see uh, without my comments. Or, uh, all these books are, are from Bookmail and Bookmail is the best mail. Uh, so uh, if you read some of them please let me know. I would be happy to know your musings concerning these uh, books. So, uh, I, uh, I truly hope that your October uh, was nice, was good, was kind to you, and I uh, uh, truly wish you a glorious and gorgeous November. Hello book lovers, I am Elena Khodakivska, this is Kat Joseph, the great reader, the writer's cat. I do hope that you will enjoy reading these books as well as we did. Stay safe, take care and happy reading. See you soon, bye!